Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with Jeff Grant, SBR contributor, and today we're going to be looking at that college football game between the Arizona Wildcats and the Washington State Cougars. How are you doing today, Jeff? Couldn't be doing better, Dax. This is one of the more exciting games to handicap as a handicapper, uh, a spread that's within a field goal, and the Pac-12 conference has been one of the more exciting ones in 2014. Yeah, we actually saw how Arizona got their first loss of the season uh, against USC this past October 11th. Now, for this game, they're going to be coming with an extra week of rest thanks to their bye week. But in your opinion, um, is that enough for this team to actually bounce back after that disappointing result, Jeff? Very young football team, so you're never quite sure how this is going to end up. Just looking over their schedule, of course, they won their first five games, the most significant one off their first bye week of the season, traveling to take on the Oregon Ducks. What was significant with that, though, Dax, was in week four, two weeks before that victory in Eugene, they had a Hail Mary win against, uh, against California at home. What's really interesting now, you look at that loss against USC, that was also on a last play of the game, a field goal that the Trojans kicked through. So it's been kind of an up-and-down season emotionally for this team. And when you look at Rich Rodriguez, he's now in his third year in Tucson, I'm just not sure Arizona is the right type of program to bounce back from such a result because after the Wildcats have dropped their first game under Rodriguez in a season, they've gone on to a losing streak. So I'm not exactly sure the Wildcats will bounce back. All right, now I think the Cougars have a little bit of extra motivation here as they need to win uh, four of their last five games to become bowl eligible. Now, considering that they have that extra sense of urgency looming over them, could that be a benefit for Washington State in this matchup, uh, Jeff? I think so. I think this team has the right makeup to really try to make a run at that bowl eligibility. Of course, last year was the first time that they've participated in the postseason in over a decade. A lot of that has to do with their head coach, also in his third year, Mike Leach. And really, the main player to handicap in this matchup is quarterback Connor Holliday, who's a senior. He leads the country in passing yards and touchdowns. And I think that's a big reason why this program and its players will rally around Holiday and give forth a major effort in this contest. All right, so from what I'm taking here, it looks like we're going to be laying the points on this one, right? No, we're going to be grabbing them because actually Washington State has been placed as a home underdog, and the main reason why, Dax, is the fact that both these teams have played California and Oregon. The main difference, though, Arizona has picked up straight-up victories against those opponents, while Washington State has lost both games, but really... Three of the five losses for Washington State this season are by a single score or less. So I'm going to grab the points here and back Washington State as a three-point home underdog against Arizona. All right, man. Sounds like some good stuff there. Good pickings, man. Thanks once again, Jeff, for all the valuable insights. And I look forward to talking more football with you again tomorrow, man. Thank you. No problem. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.